Welcome back if you're a fan of the channel and hey, welcome if you're new here. And in today's video, I'm bringing you another deck from Obsidian Flames. And this time we're gonna be taking a look at Tyranitar EX. Tyranitar EX is another terrestrialized Pokemon coming out of Obsidian Flames. And it is an electric Pokemon using fighting energy. And uh, it has a whopping 340 HP. There is no ability on this thing, but its main attack that we're probably gonna be using here, Lightning Rampage for only two fighting energy, does 150 plus if your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on it, this does 100 more, so we can hit for 250 for 2 energy, which is pretty good. Its other attack, Melon Hurl, is not bad, 120 for 1 energy, but you discarded the top 2 cards of your deck. So let's take a look at um, some tools and some other Pokemon that we have to be able to get uh, some damage counters onto our Pokemon, because this is what we want, because once we get this going, we're going to be doing big, big damage. And the one card that I've seen being played in this deck that makes a lot of sense is this Lucario. This Lucario has the ability Roaring Resolve, once during your turn you may put 2 damage counters on this Pokemon, and if you do, search your deck for a fighting energy and attach it to this Pokemon. So you can put damage counters on to be able to power up Tyranitar, and you also have a backup attacker. Now this is a one prize, and for two fighting energy, it does 10 plus damage, and if you discard all the energy, it does 60 more damage for each card you discard this way. So you can hit for 130 damage if you have two energy on it. Um, we can obviously stack more energy if we want to scale that, but you know, hitting for 130 for this is, is pretty decent. You can take out Cram, you can take out Radiant Greninjas, you have the ability to kind of take out some Pokemon. So this is one tool that we have. We are rocking a Cleffa, which I've seen get played and I haven't gotten to play this yet, so I want to keep it in. Uh, so this is what we're rocking. Be able to draw some cards, uh, you know, using its grasping draw ability. And then we are rocking the Squilvid, the Barrel Line, and I'm a little on the fence with this. Um, I, this obviously this is a really good card engine, but I'm not sure if it makes sense to run this or Pidgeot. I opted out for this, which I've seen in deck lists mainly for the fact that we're running a lot of rare candies in this deck so we want to keep those rare candies for tyranitar and not use them for pidgeot so we, we opted in for Bibero. and one other card that i want to mention is this tyranitar from pavea has evolved and this is mainly to combat psychic decks this is uh uh the tyranitar where for two uh dark energy we can hit for 230 damage and we discard the top four cards of our deck um we we can take some big ko's with this even if we just use a route uh you know we can go ahead and take ko's if we have weakness so this is something that we're going to be utilizing if we're running into psychic decks like Gardevoir or Mew. And if we take a look at the trainers, we're not running really anything crazy. The normal bosses orders, research, some switching cards. Gapeshaw Bog to be able to put damage counters on in another fashion, just in case we're not able to get it through Lucario, because we do need to evolve Lucario. Uh, rare candies for Tyranitar, a choice belt because Tyranitar hitting for 250 now gets pushed up to 280. That is a one hit KO on RCSV star and uh, onto a uh, Giratina V star, which are pretty big KOs. Raihan. Iono, we are running one Avery, uh, some switching cards, the normal stuff. Looking at our energy, we are running two Luminous Energy. I've seen this uh, get used in this deck, and this is predominantly for the the dark version of Tyranitar, but we can also utilize this on Tyranitar EX if we want to, and then we are running nine Fighting Energy to be able to put on Lucario and Tyranitar EX. Before we get into matches, I want to remind you guys I'm doing a giveaway on this channel at 1,000 subs. You can find the link in the description. I'm giving away a booster box. We just hit 800 subs, so we're 200 away from that giveaway, and while you're down there, go ahead and hit a like and hit subscribe it helps the channel grow pushes this out to other tcg fans and drop a comment let me know what you guys think of this tyranitar deck okay let's get into some matches okay we lost the coin toss and then our opponent gave it to us which concerns me it always concerns me when that happens um not a not a terrible starting hand we do have a larvitar in the starting position we just now need to find a uh oh, it's a electric deck okay um we will just need to find, you know, our, our Tyranitar, uh, Bidoof, and Squilvit. Possibly get some cards going. We have Avery, uh, Gabe Chop Log. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get this thing going. We have Luminous and, and the Fighting Energy. So we actually, we we're pretty good if we can find the, find the Tyranitar. There's a Research, which I like, I do like. So Maridon and Reggie Alecki. So let's go ahead and let's get our uh we're gonna drop gape jaw we're gonna hit the school of it for 20 just to get some damage going uh we're gonna save we're just gonna attach uh the odds that we just he just hits us in the face i guess there always is we're gonna probably research next turn so we have the luminous energy we're looking for off the research we're obviously gonna be looking for our um our friend tyranitar and our air candy uh, also, a barrel. The barrel would be sick, so we could squeal up a barrel. Uh, we have a couple options there. Ah, 
could Avery, there's like the assumption he's gonna tandem unit and put a bunch of Pokemon on the bench. We could Avery to kind of slow that down, but I just think I like I like research better. Unless we get a Tyranitar here. Unless we get a, like a Tyranitar or a rare candy off of our top deck, then I might be more inclined to not do that. But let's see. Two Raikou, these. Okay. A nest ball. Gave Joe a bog work through Nest Ball. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played a Suey and Zorog, but, but let's see. I don't think it does. I don't think that's from your hand. Yeah, it's not, because that's why I that's why like Luminion doesn't work through Nest Ball. Yeah. The Greninja though will take the hit. So. Yeah, you know, an Avery here. Kick all these Pokemon off. Well, not all. Kick two Pokemon off. I still think I like research better. I like our odds of getting our Tyranitar up and running more than trying to delay our opponent, but especially because for 250, we can KO everything, everything in this deck. Oh, well, outside of Red Jail QV Max, but I mean, like, even that, it's like not really the end of the world, but kick off our Keep Job Bog, but it doesn't really matter because we already have the damage. We already have damage done to Squill with it, so it's going to Escape Rope. So we just go into Larvitar. I need a switch or escape robot of our own, which we do have in the deck. So another thing that we might need to pick up. Here come the generators. Seems like it hit. How many did it hit though? Two would be bad. I'm trying to decide where they want to put it. It is two. Hmm. Okay. So we need three cards. Three cards to make us feel good about ourselves. Three cards to be able to smack this Raikou right in the face. And what's nice with 340 is, is like the Maridon's attack. I mean, yeah, 220 is a lot, but compared to 340, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. We do get an escape rope, which is sick. Uh, let's attach the luminous energy. Let's go ahead and escape rope. And now we're kind of found one of the the three that we need. We need to find a little bit more help. And can we take this Maridon kill? That would be sick. Would be sick. Let's research. Oh, we don't get it. We don't get it. Um, do I squove it here? Does that make sense? I'll just do it. What do I got to lose, right? Go ahead, Nestash. <laughs> Super odd. Yikes. That's not it. Right, go ahead and smack them right on for 60. Probably gonna lose our Larvitar. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Needed two cards, we hit nothing. Hit nothing. Didn't even hit a rare candy. I don't know if there was candy. I was bringing attention. I just didn't see a Tyranitar. <sighs> see you later, Larvitar. Come on. End us, please. I'm gonna go ahead and find the good old combo of uh, electric gener generator for a seal. Oh, I like that. I always like that combo. Arvin was such a good card for that. Gets you three, gets you two electric generators, basically, if that's what you're looking for. But, which I assume that's what they're looking for. That's what I would be looking for. Okay, it's a little long. It's a little bit long to be looking for the two cards that I know you're going to grab. Oh, the fine thing. Really? Hmm. Interesting. wonder why Defiance Band there. They don't even generate her. Why didn't they generate her? What? It's a weird, weird play. Why are we going to throw away our school of it? Let's see if we can get out of this. Fighting energy. Nestash hit us with a barrel. I don't know. Sick. Just as good. Kind of. Sort of. There's the barrel that we were looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and let's drop Larvitar. Let's go ahead and get Rylu. Let's also put Manaphy on the bench. Uh, let's go ahead and barrel for three. Not much there, but we will attach, and then we can end our turn. We'll lose our Squovit, but I, you know, I think you did your job, Squovit. Could have helped us on that first one, but it's okay. 
It's okay, we're still in this. Uh, we, our opponent's gonna go down to four prizes. Uh, unless we see like a boss onto this Larvitar, but I mean, even even if that's the case, I'm not really sweating it because um, we can Raihan into Lucario and then use Lucario's ability to take the KO. So not not super not super pressed. Uh, feels really good actually against a uh, electric deck. Oh, we can't attack, right? Right. I forgot. I forgot that the Photon boss can't attack. So we have even more reason to kind of just chill. Um, Right, we will we'll probably take the KO though now that I'm thinking about it. Probably should have laid your generator first now that I'm also thinking about it. But what do I know? What do I know? I did play a lot of Mariah, so I guess I do know something, but uh, we just manually attached onto the Raikou. So three attackers set up and you're hitting for more damage. So I you know, in terms of a Mariah deck, this Mariah deck is uh is firing, but we have weakness. We have weakness with Lucario. Obviously we won't have weakness with Tyranitar, but we still have weakness with Lucario. So I think going into Raikou here is the move. Uh, got the energy to be able to go and grab it. And then what's the card that we grab? Oh no. Not our Larvitar. Please, anything but the Larvitar. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> we work so hard. There's the lightning round. A 250. It's aggressive. Poor little boy who's doing nothing. He's just playing in the mud. It's okay. We're going to be able to take a KO here. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Rylu. Still have damage. So we're not really so well. Second Lucario. Come on. What is that? What is that? Let's go ahead and ruin resolve. Let's grab ourselves that energy. Now let's go ahead and Raihan here to do that. And then what card do we grab here? What do we grab? What do we grab? Grabbing ourselves Tyranitar does nothing because we're going to Nest Dash. I guess let's just grab a Larvitar. Is there something else here that could be useful? No, let's just grab Larvitar. Second Larvitar. Put it on the bench. Uh, let's go ahead and hit a Nest Dash. There's a Tyranitar. Love that. There's a Rare Candy. Also love that. Sick. And uh, we have a switch if we need it. So let's go ahead and hit for 260. Discard 2 energy. Uh, we need some energy of our own now. That's the that's the thing. That is the thing. But man, that's a super... Uh, super strong. I mean, I feel like I feel like we're not going to run into that many Maridon decks nowadays. But like when you do... Ooh. Hit it for 260. Love that. 130 times 2. We will lose our Lucario, but uh, that's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, we kind of are getting low on energy. I mean, not low. We have, we have 6 plus Illuminius, so we just need to find it. We need to find some energy. Uh, I guess even if we need to hit for 120 this turn, that's fine. Our opponent can hit for 250. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Might be 230 now because we took a KO. But if we have bosses. We could actually just like boss. We could boss up this Maridon. Or even the Regi like uh, Regi has Fear Tree. Probably boss up this Maridon maybe, and then hit it with a uh, Tyranitar, assuming that we find an energy. But with this combo, with this Sklovic combo, I mean it's kind of easy to to hit that. So. Why, I mean, like I was, I, I was talking about Pidgeot, but I mean, this is still such a solid combo. Once you get it, get it up and running, it's like, it's so much fun. Basically, just get a free hand, a new hand every turn. So, I think they fleet footed already. So, unless we're gonna see something, I don't know. It's a bit long, take a long turn. There's the lightning rondo. There goes our Lucario. So, yeah. So down to three prizes, we'll have to go into Tyranitar here, which is, which is cool because just so much, so much HP. It's crazy. So much HP. Um, let's drop Rylu. Play Super Rod. <laughs> I'm going to Super Rod, just, I'm going to Super Rod Lucario and some energy back in. Give us a little bit bigger of a chance to hit some energy. Uh, we don't want to switch. Let's boss. Let's go ahead and boss that Maraid on up, like we said we wanted to. And then we'll go ahead and Nest Ash. Nest Ash Barrel. Ultra Ball. 
which could be good for us next turn to find a sick, find some energy. So discard two cards, but we'll smack it for 120. And then, uh, you know, if it can't get out, it can't get out. They're all weighing energy and a rare candy, but you yeah, know, it's fine. It's fine. We have a rare candy ultra ball. We can pick up a second, uh, a second Tyrant Star if we wanted to. I actually think I'm more leaning into the fact of going into the Lucario because we can just grab energy off of its, its, uh, its ability and like against this deck it's perfect right because we can hit for 260 we know we can take ko's so i think it's solid um and let's see if our opponent has an energy to be able to switch out and do some damage to us i don't they can't take a ko right i don't think there's a world where they take a ko is that gonna be to grab a boss might be might be a boss's orders we still have a switch card in case they like boss the barrel to try to stall us. Oh, Irida, Irida in this deck? Huh? Why is there an Irida in this deck? Hmm. Well, now we have another option on pulling out the. Uh... Why is there an Irida? <laughs> We have the option of pulling out this. I mean, the Luminion and the, the, the Greninja make sense as water Pokemon, right? They're really good support cards. But the, the, the Irida, I'm still baffled on. But we do have an option to boss um, to boss out the uh, Luminion, take a KO, which we can actually just hit for 240 on it. So escape rope. Escape rope into... Let's just go into Manaphy. Let him kill Manaphy, right? It's not... We, we don't need to worry about our bench. They'll go down to two prizes, which is fine. And then we need to find an energy. That's kind of where we're at right now. We have we have a few options. We can Iona, put us up to four cards, and then I still think we actually Ultra Ball. Let's Ultra Ball away the Rare Candy and the uh, the Barrel. I think one Tyranitar is going to suffice for this game, and I really want to get the, the Lucario up and running. So um, our opponent did pick up Echoing Horn, so. They could pull something back out. 500 damage, yikes. Uh, but we're going to Iono, actually. So the, uh, the, the Echoing Horn is just going to go back in the deck. So it's not, not really that big of an issue. Um, yeah, let's go into Dyranitar. Passes it to us. Two Ionos. Uh, get rid of... We're not going to use the Rare Candy. So we'll save an Iono just in case we need it later on. Let's grab ourselves Lucario. There you go, Lucario. Welcome. Uh, and then we're going to Iona first. Save Nestash and uh, in Industrious in Scissors. Uh, that did nothing for us. We need energy. We need energy, right? That's what we need. Yeah, we need energy. Okay. Um, yeah, just Nestash. What's our opponent down to two cards, too? Maybe, maybe we can just like stall them out. Bosses, which is not useful in the moment. Industrious finds us the second energy, which will take a KO. Um, and then we can go ahead and form a resolve to get our Lucario set up as the backup attacker, just in case we need it. So, sick. Sick. Go ahead and hit for 250, take the KO. And now our opponents got to find two prizes here. I don't know where they find these two prizes. But let's see what they can do. Cape Draw Bog and an energy in hand, which is really cool. So outside of us getting iono we have an energy for Lucario, which, to be honest, we had an energy for Lucario anyway because of its ability. So um, is there a world, actually, where we... Uh, if we attach three energy, if we have Roaring Resolve and attach to Lucario, and then switch, we'll be doing... It's 130 plus it's 190. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we can take out the Regilek EV Max. Um if that's what they stay into. I think we have it. Yeah, I think we have it. And we have bosses in hand, so outside of an Iona, no, we're, we're feeling, I'm feeling confident. Feeling pretty confident here. Obviously helps that we have advantage in typing here, so. I mean, ah, our opponent can see I think they saw nothing was coming of that, so GG's. It keeps saying we have typing, but it was really just the Lucario that has typing, the Tyranitar. So cool, cool. Let's go ahead and find another match. We hit tails, and we're gonna go first. Um, let's uh, let's see if we can get like a really good opening hand. I actually kind of want to get Cleffa. Uh, we don't get Cleffa. We do not get Cleffa. We get a Bidoof. 
three ultra balls geez researching away three ultra balls and rare candy feels kind of bad so i don't know if i want to do that maybe ultra ball maybe i don't know maybe ultra ball away mm, yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i want to do <laughs> but it looks like we're reversing a water deck so we actually like our tyranitar might have advantage again might just be sitting in advantage let's go ahead and let's ultra ball away the bosses and an ultra ball uh yeah i'm just gonna grab cleffa i want to see how this i want to see the perks of this uh let's do this switch into cleffa we can't attack right jesus it doesn't matter we can use the next turn uh grasping draw putting us up to seven is gonna be pretty cool probably gonna research here now that i'm thinking about it but actually depending on what card i get i might just ultra ball away the rare candy and whatever card i get to grab the barrel and then i feel pretty good about like researching using cards the barreling and then grasping draw like that gives me so many options in terms of like what i can do and what i can do next turn so our opponent plays a lucky energy. As long as it's attached to a Pokemon, it provides one energy. If the Pokemon is damaged from an attack, they draw a card. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do what I was saying. Let's grab a barrel. Uh, looks like we have Pokemon-wise everything we need. Grab a barrel. Go ahead and research. Find a Larvitar, love that. Can attach on to the Larvitar. Um, and that's probably all we can do. We can Grasping to put us up two cards. So go ahead and do it. I have a Switch card to move out of it and we have two Rare Candies. So feeling good, feeling good about that. That was uh, that was cool, that was solid. Um, we need some energy to put onto our, we need one more energy to put onto our Antar and uh, damage counters, even though there's nothing on the board right now that screams like, big damage so we can get away with the 150 oh well, there's scared of cx never mind i forget what i said 300 geez but we have weakness so even even our 150 will be okay um so choice belt choice belt choice belt let's go ahead and keep jaw let's go ahead and hit that uh i don't know if we're gonna need it but let's just do that let's do that i don't know I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. And we can save the barrel if we if we have something. There is another energy. We have two nest balls, which is sick. Grab a uh, Rylou. And I guess let's grab another Arbitar. That makes sense to me. Gonna attach for a turn. Uh, we could go ahead and Industrious to be able to find. Okay. I don't think we need mana feed. I guess your ninja is always a thing. Let's put it down just in case. Just in case. Oh, Gape Jaw. Oh, no, no, Gape Jaw's good. Oh, we want Gape Jaw. Go ahead and hit for 500 damage onto this water. Onto this water Pokemon. And, like, while this isn't, like, this is Gyarados, this is not a deck. I'm playing in the casual ladder um, because of my Road to Arceus series. And, and maybe this isn't a deck that we wouldn't see, but, like, if this is Palkia. Right? 500 damage to Palkia? You, you know, you, you, it, Palkia is a huge deck. Um, speaking of Palkia, Palkia is obviously a really good card, especially in Chen Pao. So, like, while we can't do damage, while we can't do double damage to our weakness to Chen Pao, we can do it to, to Palkia. So, uh, water decks should probably be a little bit scared of this. Um, and, like, I don't know. It's just, like, you have weakness to water, and then you have weakness to uh electric like not that those are they're not super big decks right like water kind of is um but the electric is like you see ride on every so often so i don't know i think it's kind of cool that you have this dual kind of threat that you're rocking uh so then if all of our lucario we can attach where do we want to attach here let's attach since we have weakness which is probably attached to larvitar um why do I don't know? That's I don't know. Give us five cards. There is a Tyranitar. Uh, can't actually do anything, so we can't use Babero, but we should use Roaring Resolve just to be able to put some energy onto Lucario. 
and then we can go ahead and smack Gyarados for 500 damage, taking two prizes, but he's three. I, I don't know. I kind of want to try this deck on the ranked ladder, see how it how it fares against some of the, like the more prominent decks like Arceus, like, you know, those types of decks. I, this is one of the, the, like, this deck kind of interests me. This this deck interests me more than Vespa Queen did. I, there might be some there might be some niche for this or maybe it's just a deck that i really like to play i like being able to grab energy with you know um i like being able to grab energy with like abilities like that with lucario i like being able to hit for big damage when you do damage to yourself like i i think that it's all really cool i think tyrannos is a really cool tanky pokemon the only thing that i do kind of I, i'm kind of aware of is that there's so many bench Pokemon that have low HP that if you lose Mana Fee or you can't find Mana Fee because it's prized, you really do open yourself up to like a world of pain to like Greninja or, uh, you know, Lost Mine or something like that. So I, that's the part where I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes the most sense, but um, uh, it's very safe. We find ourselves three cards. We do find a Rare Candy. Sick. We we'll go ahead and Rare Candy and get ourselves a second Tyranitar. And now we're just like, oh, we're really big right now. Go ahead and attach onto Manaphy and go ahead and retreat into our Tyranitar Roaring Resolve just to have another, you know, more energy. Sure, 40 damage. And that's another thing. It's like being able to do that ability against Lost Box, like, is probably really, really bad. So maybe that's like something that's like, you know, maybe this deck really doesn't fare well against Lost Box, but I kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it. And especially if it's a deck that people aren't prepared for, you might be able to just like find something. You might be able to find some some area that finds success. And I don't know, 340 is a hard thing to kill. That I don't, you know, Jam Pow is the only thing I can think off the top of my head that can do that damage. Um, maybe maybe Charizard EX with like five prizes, but still, it's like it's such a big number. It's such a big number. And that will be GG. I kind of talked through this whole game. We just got, we were just set up and flying. We were just absolutely frying this game. Weakness is huge, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me guys know what you think about Tyranitar. Is this, is this a competitively viable deck? I'm going to actually test it. I'm actually going to try and test it. This is one of the few deck reviews where I'm like, oh, I, there might be something here. Um, I'm going to try it out, see how it goes. Uh, maybe it's not the best deck in the format, but... I think it fits my play style, and uh, I think there's something there. So let me know what you think. I want to hear your opinions. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.